Hello, I am Dr. Fashad Amin Behbani and this is short course of Iranian traditional medicine. In this section, we continue our discussion about the psychic spirit. In previous section, we learned that uh, there is five faculty in the brain, four in five internal uh, sense in the brain. Common sense that receives faces, different faces of different senses and deliver it to the keeper faculty. Keeper faculty hold the faces and give enough time for imaginative faculty which is in the anterior part of the middle ventricle and this imaginative faculty extract the meaning from the faces and deliver this derived meaning to the next part that is illusory faculty at the posterior part of the middle ventricle and illusory faculty percept this meaning perception of meanings is duty of illusory faculty and at last the percepted meaning we deliver to the memory faculty. In the human thinking is main controller of the actions. The process of thinking is to extract the meaning from the memory, meaning or faces if we imagine some idea. Both meaning and faces at last are reserved and recorded in memory faculty. For thinking we extract this meaning and faces from the memory and imaginative faculty mix them sometimes uh, delete some part and add some extra part and produce a new image or a new thing or new idea. This is the process of thinking in the human that controls most of human actions. In the animal, of course, there is thinking, but the main part that controls animal action is illusory part. Illusory part immediately after perception of a meaning cause an action to animal. We called it instinct. In human, thinking or wise is main controller. In animal, instinct is main controller of the actions. In a sleep, the process and the connection of external sense will cut, is cut from the common sense or internal senses. So, internal senses are free for action. Some meaning from the memory faculty is extract and goes to imaginative faculty and reversely imaginative faculty drive some faces from this meaning and these faces delivered to the keeper or holder faculty so it seems that we are watching some views or uh, some objects or some, for example, uh, adventures. And that's the daily dream, ordinary dream. There is also an important dream in the viewpoint of Iranian traditional medicine 
we believe that each humors produce vapors. These vapors can contaminate contamine the psychic spirit by elevating from the brain. This contamination becomes a dream with a special adventure or a special color. For example, in domination of choleric or yellow bile, our dreams become yellow. In domination of sanguine humor, our dreams become, become red or with dreaming the bleeding. In domination of black bile or melancholic humor, the dreams become dark, become black, and becomes scary. In uh, domination of flame, the dreams become white, becomes snowy, becomes rainy, becomes uh, wet. Also, there is another true dreaming that is because of connection of soul to imaginative faculty or to the spirit. And soul as a non-physical and free uh, phenomenon that are not in the chain of time or space can see the future or unseen or um, unfilled past, unexperienced past, and bring some experience for the medicinal spirit. So medicinal spirit uh, will change this meaning or this news from the future or from the past to the nearest image that it can. And that's the why interpretation of sleep or dreams uh, are a, some science. Because mostly, this nearest image is common in humans. We call it true dreams. And sometimes is a mechanism or is a defense mechanism for surviving in humans. But in Iranian traditional medicine, uh, they don't use the true dreams. We just see the amount of dreams that is important to uh, diagnose the temperament or distemperament of the brain. For example, in dry distemperament of brain, the process of dreaming is less. Maybe the patient tells you that he or she never dreams any dreaming in his or her sleep. It's a clue for dry temperament or dry distemperament. Reversely, a wet distemperament of the brain dreams too much but don't remember any of them. So, this temperament and uh, or temperament, a wet, this temperament or wet temperament are connected with too dreaming, too much dreaming. If the person don't dream, don't remember any of them, it's a clue for wet this temperament. Also, a warm temperament have many dreaming and also it may be have very thinking 
there is another clues for this diagnosis of different kinds of this temperament in the brain that we will mention it in next sections movement in the brain in Iranian traditional medicine view mostly is done by two opposite action relaxing and contracting when you move some uh, organs for example your finger some of the muscles should be contract and some of them should be relaxed this is two movement of movement faculty mostly uh, there is in the posterior part of the brain so every damage to the posterior part will be lead to movement uh, diseases like uh, tremors like uh, inability to balance Thank you for watching.